I can't remember what the what the opener was. Tourette's guy. It's like I didn't do that. I was in the car all day taking a shit. Too far? Whoops. Oh god. <laughs> I kinda cinched him up too, so thus the stiction. <sighs> Throw a wheel on there. Sweet. Nice. Space up, get some tuck. Space some more. Get her tucked. Oh, we got more? Oh. That's as far as it goes right there. Alright, hold on. Can you hold it there for a second? Yeah, I'm trying. Alright, I'll let that down and see what this does. It's stuck there. That's all the way up. It doesn't hit. What is it like kind of here? Oh man. Like a four degrees of camber. What? It's like fucking four degrees of camber or something across us. Well, there's no, uh. Look at that, it doesn't touch. You, that's the little nubs. Wheel of Fortune. Oh yeah. This is too funny. And upset 95% of the North American rally community, <laughs> including myself, really. It is so close. It's close enough that I'm just gonna do it, file it by hand ever so carefully. Lack of the ability to use a off the shelf spare. This will totally just work in a pinch if I need to borrow a set of Subaru top hats and just throw them on. A little bit of gap, never hurt anybody. Well. Not immediately. Yeah, I got a Dremel with like sanding discs and shit. Yeah, I might do that. Round. We actually want it to be round. <laughs> yeah, you know, where is that thing? <laughs> I didn't think this was gonna take this long. Oh man, I tell you what, I fired up the Corrado the other day, and you know, VR6 put out kind of a, kind of a residence. The two um, vertical, like, sidebars for the big roll-up door I'm gonna put up, they were leaning up there. All of a sudden they slide, just crash onto the fender of the Suburban, which was a bad fender anyway, but it put a big old fucking divot in it. They're still over there, but I was like, well, they fall the other way, Emily's and they probably want a new car. <laughs> yeah, she'd drive it. Because <laughs> I just saw him sliding and I'm in there. Just kind of revving it up. I'm like, eh, Can't do anything fucking, about it now. I can might as well stay in the car. Boom! Yep. 
depending on the pipe we get, probably cut a groove for it to fit in. Do I need to cut down the diameter of this, Ron? Does it fit around? Mm, no, I'll have to shave it some. Maybe. I mean, it fits, I think it fits in the hands. I'm just fine. It's hard to tell. Is it the right size? Well, I think I gotta trim the... The outside then? Yeah. Yeah, it's not going all the way. Probably even less than that, but did, three did will get you, us cleared. Did you have to pull shit off? Oh, yeah, you probably did. The well, clearance. I'm going to weld it together, and then yeah. I'm going to... Oh, then you're going to deck the whole thing? Yeah. Turn the whole... Ooh, that'll be fun keeping it true, or you just like V... I'm just going to cut the, the first half inch. Yeah. And, uh, turn it down. Cut, so a, so cut a step? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's not much. It's almost in there. Yeah. <laughs> Oh! Well, that's the biggest pipe I got. That's close. So, face it, blast it, weld it, cut it back down, paint it. Go, rusty pipe! Yeah, that's my, that's my old gas main. <laughs> it is! I did jump proto tracks in uh, Corbett's, well now Corbett's car, little rabbit, <laughs> on accident in Indiana. Came up on it too fast, didn't realize it. Fucking launch me in the air. It's nice and toasty. So bolted up stuff last time, rear subframe, uh, didn't have time to bolt up the front uh, and I still needed quite a few parts so I uh, kind of took inventory and uh, put in a big order online, well actually a couple of big orders and uh, just got a ton of parts in um, and I'm, I'm slowly working on assembling everything. Um, just a couple more uh, uh, OEM bolts to uh, sandblast and zinc coat and then the front end will be able to come together. I need to put the car back on jack stands to get the uh, that that uh, paint cart out of the way, uh, make room for the subframe in the front. So um, once I bolt all that stuff up, uh, I can actually put suspension on, which I worked on uh, putting suspension together and had to kind of uh, finagle some weird shims that I thought were just going to work, which obviously didn't, but that's no surprise. Um, but now the suspension's all ready to slap on. Um, and uh, actually put rear wheels on. That, it, it looks fantastic. I, I thought I was going to run those plastic flares, but I might not now because it looks really good. So um, Kyle helped me, helped me get it hella flush. So it's looking hella like flush. Stand, right? Yeah, <laughs> I'll stand stab. And uh, uh, I don't know. It's one of those things where you just have to stand back every once in a while. Like put a ten degree camera kit on it. Yeah, it's at like four degrees. Four or five degrees camber with it jammed up all in the like oh god that's awful. <laughs> um, it's I mean with BBSs on it though that looks pretty fantastic. It was nice to bolt up wheels and stand back and look at it for a minute. Um, really all uh, all the I, I managed to uh, or rather while I was messing up uh, pressing in wheel bearings tonight, uh, Kendall took a forty millimeter socket that I got and and lengthened it on the lathe, uh, split it in half using a parting tool, put in an old piece of uh, gas pipe that he cut up and uh, uh, made this uh, custom socket that is uh, for the, uh, what nut is that, the front 
is there a name for, for that? It's, angle drive, for the rear dip. Yeah, it's it's the input shaft yep. uh, uh, nut that holds the uh, input shaft bearing in place. Yep. Yeah, yeah, for that, uh, well, for that bevel gear. Mm -hmm. um, and it just so happened to be that this crazy 40 millimeter and the, the uh, axle or the input shaft stub comes out, what, like three inches or something. So had to actually, you know, you can't get a 40 millimeter socket that's three inches long just at, you know, at lows. So um, got that through McMaster and, and split it all down. And, and Kendall worked his magic. Now we made a tool. Thanks, Kendall. Yes, yeah, no problem. Show them, show them on the, on the camera. Did you see? Oh, I thought I held it up. It's like 40 and change now, right? It should be 40.65 millimeters. Yeah. Right on it. 40 and change. Fits up snug, real nice. And it was just as good as the one you, you, you had at work, right? Well, we haven't taken it off yet, so it might break. That's true. I doubt it, but fine. Good enough. Yeah. Good enough. One time use. Maybe I'll get it rolling here pretty soon. Hopefully. Keep saying that. Soon. So you don't have any mercury laying around, do you? No. There's actually quite a few over the last few years. I've got five or six cabrios and pick them in pretty rough shape. But... Yeah, you can, yeah, but you can pick a mark three cabrios all day long for a fucking grand. Yeah. I'm not sure she wants it, but she's like, I'm just going to title it over to you. I said, what the fuck am I going to do with cabrios? You want to swap it? Yeah, maybe. But, but I don't want it. Sell it. Give it back to her as a Christmas present? Yeah. Uh, you know, like, you know, like, Mod Podge shit? Yeah. You know, like, how you, like, you can, like, just or spray adhesive with paper? We need to find, like, every ad that she's ever been in, like, every fucking stock photo and just Mod Podge the whole car. I'm just going to hit the, the shrine. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, like, set it all up when she was coming over here. And be like, oh, hey. <laughs> 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 Sorry. No, leave it covered up, but, like, leave a light on underneath it.